I haven't seen a lot of guides for attaching a handle to a strongman log. So we're going to talk about the way that I did it to make it look nice as well as extremely strong. What I'm going to do is you see my one and a quarter inch oak dowel handle and I have it already in place and you can see this line here. This is where I'll make a relief cut back along the dowel and we'll pound in this red heart wood wedge. So that'll be a nice decorative element. Don't have to do that. You could use oak, <laughs> but I wanted that. And you can see that the grain of the dowel is running vertically just like this because what's going to happen is as that wedge expands, it's going to put pressure along this part of the log. We want that because if we were to do this part with the grain running this direction on the log, we could split it and we certainly don't want to do that. So this is in this position and I am you can see it's about an eighth of an inch past the end of the log there, just giving it a little space. I'm going to cut the other side an eighth of an inch long as well. And what's going to happen also is I am going to put a, use this dowel rod, this half inch dowel rod. I'm going to create a little hole right here. This dowel rod is a plug, but I'm going to drop this 16D nail, galvanized nail as a pin. So I'm going to drill in about half an, half an inch with my half inch drill bit. So I'll get this nice and straight. Then I'll finish out another hole with this nail and this will pin it into place. I'm going to do this. I'm marking it. I'm going to drill and I'm going to pin all at the same time. And then I'm going to take it out <laughs> and then I'm going to cut the, re the relief cut back. Now, when doing this sort of joinery, if I'm with the grain of the of the dowel rod, I don't want it to split all the way down while I'm cutting that relief cut. So typically you would just put, drill a hole where you want the relief cut to stop. So this pin, this hole that we're drilling for the pin is going to be that hole for the relief cut and we'll just cut all the way back to where that pin is. And then when we go to assemble it, we will put it into place. We'll put the pin fully in and that will hold it very firmly and securely as we're pounding the wedge because we'll have that in on both sides and everything will be locked together. Now I could have done the pin with just the doll rod. That would have been cool just to keep it all wood. That's a preference. <laughs> but I wanted to go metal because of the strength and also it's a smaller diameter hole that would be going through the dowel and I thought that in essence would make it a lot stronger. Now the thing about this metal pin is what this is going to do is this, gonna, this is going to keep the handle from rotating side to side and keep it locked into place as well as back and forth and it's going to distribute a lot of that force and pressure that might be exerted throughout the side of the box that the handle is in. So this pin is going to be doing a lot of things that's why I wanted the metal because I knew it was going to be the strongest. But. Your choice on what you want to do. I think a half inch dowel rod would be perfectly fine, especially if you're not going to be doing a, a wedge like I'm doing. You could just pin the thing, maybe even use something thicker like a 5 8 but that would probably be the thickest I would, I would go. And you could just go straight through the handle, the tenon, <laughs> and secure that joint really, really strong that way as well. When it comes to attaching the handle. As I said, we're going to put it into place and we're going to drop the pins before we do the wedges. But let's talk about the glue. So when I, I'm, I'm not going to glue this end to start. I'm just going to get the dowel in there and then we'll glue up this really, really well. We'll push through and this is a little bit long, this scrap piece. And then we'll glue up this side really, really well. Then we'll come back <laughs> and we could even get some, rub some extra glue before we push it back in. So then we'll come back. Then we'll drop the pins in place. It'll be securely glued on the inside of, of both of the holes. We'll drop the pins on both sides that will secure it firmly in place. And then we'll come back and we'll pound in the wedges on both sides. Of course, using glue in those slots with the wedges and this sucker is going to be strong. I want to show this angle here so you can see when I'm finding the hole for the pin, I am going to use the rounded edge of the log and I'm going to come in probably about one and five eighths inches 
that'll be the center of the hole when I drill that half inch hole for the dowel rod. And that's not too close to the edge, but it also gives me as keeps me as far back as possible for that pin. Now I'm gonna just draw a little mark there and then we'll move on to the next step. Half inch was about to the bottom of that D there, so you can see I'm using this as just a depth gauge. Rather than putting tape on my bit, I could have done that too, but <laughs> gotta drill slow with these bits and especially with the oak wood being wet. So there we go. My drill bit, it's the longest drill bit I have is a 3 16 It's the right diameter. It's just as long. I'm gonna get it down as far as possible and then you know I could just tap it the rest of the way in. I don't think that there's gonna be any danger of of splitting with it already that deep in the wood. So this is what it should look like. I have this side marked with up markings to make sure I put it back in in that direction. I have both of the pins that I put in place and I cut the end off and of course I have that side marked. That one doesn't need to be marked up because the other one is. Now I just pop these out and I'll cut the relief cuts and then glue it up. One nice thing about having those relief cuts in there is that it makes it a little less tight so you can wiggle it into place and get it all lined up so the holes will meet up. So as I'm just dry fitting this and I just bring it back slowly with the pin in place and just feel for the hole and you'll eventually find the hole and it will just drop down in there. Now you know that it's in the right position. So now we are all ready for glue. So just a reminder, I'm all the way through here, so we're going to come back, we're going to glue this all up. Then you can see, eh, it's a little off in my hole, so eh, whatever, it's close enough. So I'm going to glue this side up, we're going to push this back through, we're going to glue that side up, and we're going to line it all up, and then drop the pins into the pinholes. Here's everything all connected up, waiting for the glue to dry. Here is a close-up of that joint. You can see the dowel rod plugs covering up the pins and the wedges. Now, after it's all sanded, I put my logo on. And here is after three coats of tongue oil. There's a close-up of the handle. And I really think it turned out fantastic. A view from the backside. And... There she is.